A church of more than 150 years comes to the ground in just a matter of hours. This is what's left on Walnut in Kishwaukee. The historic church there caught fire. It was demolished overnight. A pile of bricks now sits where that historic church once stood. The church was the mother church at one time to what is now second first church in Rockford. Historians say it was the oldest and one of the oldest churches in the entire city. Roughly 150 years of history gone in just a few hours. Brought tears to my eyes, believe me, when I saw it last night. What was once a church, a steeple, a sanctuary full of visitors, now just a pile of bricks. It's 150 years old, so, so it, it is the oldest standing church left in Rockford, actually. Or was, I should say. But it's what once stood here that historians and architects won't soon forget. And I think one of the things there, the steeple was probably the tallest in Rockford. Um, I think it was probably over 200 feet. And the stained glass windows in there were magnificent. Some say it was built in 1838, others say 1869, which is what the side of the building read. It was first home to First Congregational Church. The story always was that the women got tired of crossing the river in their hoop skirts and they told their husbands, we need a church over on this side of the river. Now, whether that's a true story or not, it's a great story. That congregation, now second first church on North Church Street in Rockford. It then became home to the Masons from 1917 to 1992 before becoming the Metro Christian Center until roughly 2005. The building had been condemned, but it's what was inside that architect Gary Anderson will remember. Because the space on the inside was so um, cool and uh, you know the big Gothic ar arches that were in there, um, you know, just had a lot of wonderful qualities. A piece of Rockford history that some wish would have been restored, now nothing more than a memory of what once stood on the corner of Walnut and Kishwaukee. We've just lost something very precious to our community. Anderson says that flat floor inside the church made it easier to redevelop, but that never panned out. Fire officials are still investigating the cause of that fire tonight.